beneath the green on as many as 12,000 athletic fields across the country instead of dirt is a synthetic material called black crumb rubber. For years, many athletes, parents, and environmental groups have raised questions about potential links between the synthetic turf and cancer. Those questions have gone largely unanswered, and now there are new questions about whether government agencies have failed in protecting the public. Full Measure correspondent Josie Sturman has this report. As a former college and professional goalkeeper, Steve Powers has spent more than half his life guarding the goal. These days, though, he's more concerned about protecting his kid. Well done, out. And athletes like him. I'd like to be part of the solution in moving schools and parks and other facilities into moving away from crumb rubber. Crumb rubber is essentially shredded up tires that are used on thousands of athletic fields across the country. As its use spreads, so do questions about its potential impact on health. Especially for someone like Powers, who spent years diving onto crumb rubber before getting cancer. If it turns out that the fields that I used to play on, the fields that I used to coach on, were a factor in me getting cancer, um, you know, that, that's a tough pill to swallow. Your first step is here. Amy Griffin, soccer coach at the University of Washington, is keeping a list now including more than 160 people, including 80 goalies like Powers. They all have one thing in common. They played sports on crumb rubber fields and they got cancer. All of a sudden the list grew exponentially. We're dealing with a, a very, very small sampling. Millions of people have played on and used synthetic turf. The Synthetic Turf Council's Mike Cobb points to more than 50 studies the group says show crumb rubber is not a hazard. I have seen nothing, not one scintilla of evidence that it is not safe. But critics say the evidence has been piecemeal. No comprehensive federal study has ever been done to evaluate the health impacts of crumb rubber. Do you think the government has failed the American people on this issue? Absolutely. Nancy Alderman, the president of Environmental and Human Health, EHHI, has been fighting for a crumb rubber ban since 2006. We all said, give us 10 years, we're going to start to see cancer. Alderman says a recent Yale study supports why. Its look at rubber tire infill found 96 chemicals, known carcinogens, and chemicals with unknown risk. The government at both federal and state levels have allowed a cancer experiment with a whole generation of children and athletes. It's really tragic. Dr. David Brown, public health toxicologist formerly with the CDC, says health agencies should have flagged a potential problem after hearing of as few as five cases potentially linked to crumb rubber. Coach Griffin's anecdotal list is at least 30 times that many. They're enough to make you cry. Say. First reaction is we missed it. We didn't fight hard enough. Thank you, Congressman. The fight is changing. In a congressional hearing this year, the Consumer Product Safety Commission's chairman, Elliot Kay, reversed course on crumb rubber, stepping back from a 2008 statement that it was, quote, okay to play on. Safe to play on means something to parents that I don't think we intended to convey and I don't think we should have conveyed. The CPSC wants more testing and now lawmakers are demanding it. We owe it to ourselves, our children. U.S. Senators Dick Blumenthal of Connecticut and Bill Nelson of Florida recently sent a letter to the CPSC asking for independent federal testing of crumb rubber. If a really authoritative, exacting and accurate study is done, we'll know the truth. And they shouldn't fear the truth. We should know it, and parents deserve it. The Environmental Protection Agency says it previously looked at crumb rubber, just not comprehensively. The agency is supposed to assist with a planned California study experts believe could settle the debate. But we found these documents that raise questions about whether the EPA should be involved including this from a 2008 work group the agency says it participated in. It shows the EPA involved in pitching crumb rubber as a way to dispose of tires. And an ESPN report found a memo from EPA leaders from that same year that said chronic repeated exposure could present health hazards. Lawmakers in the House recently asked the agency for any information it has about links between crumb and cancer. So far, no response. And Brandon to the middle. People like Steve Powers are tired of waiting for answers. He doesn't care who does the testing. His goal is beating cancer for good and getting the feds to stop passing the ball. A central agency needs to take a hard look at this. 
I am shocked that they're dragging their feet and not doing so. How can they not? In Washington, I'm Josie Sturman for Full Measure. The EPA says it is crafting its response to the House Committee's letter, although the deadline for their answer passed more than a month ago. The Consumer Product Safety Commission's chairman is also working on his response to the call for independent testing. The commission has previously said that if Congress wants that kind of in-depth research, Congress needs to provide additional resources and funding. Coming up on Full Measure, it's been a wild year in the media. We'll share a few of the top media misses with Fox News Media Buzz host Howie Kurtz.